all about creating opportunity. Because we can't kick these people off, yeah. they're self-selecting, yeah. we have to create the opportunity for them to select themselves off. You've, you've been uh, going over... One of the challenges well, that's uh, good. Doing yeah. like so, something like, um, Paul, you mentioned like the condiments. Let's do a condiment challenge. Like they have to like down a big bunch of condiments. They must consume... Like a, like a gallon, a glass, a lottery, a glass. Like a, a glass. That's like condiments. that's like six ounces. Well, not one of these. Like one of those. Uh, it's got to be clear so we see what's in it. So it's funny. You know, someone might maybe we can maybe get a cutaway of someone saying this mustard would be good if I didn't have to eat so much of it. Mustard, mustard, mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Man oh, I'd mayonnaise. I'd like to see someone drink mayonnaise. That's stuff you put on steak. Uh, Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. 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 Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Or like some Those vile preserves. like dollar store grape jelly. That would be so bad. That's nasty. Let's, let's go with that. One more condiment. Pickles. Pickles? It's green. It's like um, yeah. it's really, really awful. Gasoline. I, I wouldn't want to be responsible for that. We should make it random what they get. Just you do something with cards. Like cards, cards. You could deal out cards to them. Yeah. So you're thinking then you let them trade? I'd rather eat pickles than probably what I've got on, uh, on my card. But I'm not taking yours because I don't want to eat that is cool. a glass full of gravy. Gravy. Put happen. gravy up there. You see a guy Wait. drinking a glass of gravy? Wait, it's going to be all congealed. Uh, well, one thing we do have to be careful of, we can't actually have anything that has a meat product in it because what? we can't target people. I mean, that, w that was one of the agreements. Well, if, she, if they know that, then there won't be any... But that's the thing, we're not going to tell them. Because it's not like vegans do good research. I like the way yep. he thinks. Okay, now thanks. Gather up. Grab a seat at the table. Any seat will do. What would dinner be without an hors d'oeuvre? And we have something special prepared for you tonight. Now, what I need for you to do is take the card in front of you and without looking at it, place it on your forehead. Now as you glance around the table, what you'll notice is that everyone has a type of condiment listed. What you need to do is decide whether you would rather gamble on the card on your own forehead or trade for something that seems more appetizing, we'll say. If you hadn't picked up from that, what this means is that you're going to have to consume whatever you wind up with in its entirety before you're allowed to have dinner tonight. You have 15 seconds to work out any trades. Go. You want to trade? Yeah. Does anybody want mine? I think I'm going to try my little I don't know what I have, but I... Samantha, you want to trade? 14, 15, time. Go ahead and take a look at what you have. Oh. Good. See what Lady Luck is giving you. Uh, you have some rice for the soy sauce? Is there any way around this? Nope. Does this count as participating? That I did this? Not at all. You can't trade. You can't share. You can only enjoy. You, by yourself, must consume the entire condiment. But if it makes it easier, here's some salt and pepper. I have the mayo. I made it look like I didn't really like it, but I was brought up eating mayo. You have mayonnaise on your nose. You could have Three Pock had some grape jelly. I can not get my covered if oh, I just have wow. diabetes from drinking all this here. I don't think Erica really liked the soy sauce she had. At least it was something sweet. This, I don't know ah. what this tastes like. So I was kind of hoping that I had something more yummy, like marshmallow cream or like peanut butter or something. Salem, she, she had some salsa, and Samantha just tore apart the pickle she had. Joe had some margarine. The thing about margarine is like beer and lard isn't a really good combo. And then, then Evie. Evie got gravy. You got gravy? What's wrong with that? She doesn't, she doesn't eat meat, but... I didn't want the gravy because I thought it would have like chunks of things in it, but I didn't realize the chunks of things would be the things that Evie wouldn't want chunks of. You guys all looked at it. Every single one of you. You looked at it and knew and you just bypassed it. I didn't want gravy. I feel bad that I didn't help her out with the gravy, but at the same time I had, I didn't want to. Oh, that man. Hey, you act like we planned this, all right? We, we planned the game. You it's saw like, it. You saw it. You know how to play. You could have switched with me. There's plenty of people that would rather have this than, than mayo or, it's or pickles or something. She's blaming us for for like setting her up. She totally just like got all upset with us, like it was totally our fault. Look, what you crying? No, shut up! Me. I don't want to hear anything from you anymore. Okay. You know what? You know hey, what? I'm tired of you and your attitude. This right? is the one thing I can't do, and you guys just take it and like throw it back in my face. Hey, look, I got what I wanted. You I can't trigger with it. This is it for me. I'm gone. There were seven of us, and any one of us could have got the gravy. You know, she sat the chair, she got the gravy. Hey. We got what you wanted, didn't you? Me? Look, I hope you guys just. We don't have to work this out. 
She's gone, and that's good. I didn't want to help her out anymore. Wait, so sh she's gone, man. She left. She went out the front door. That was her choice. That's it. I'm pretty glad she's gone. Like, it's just a stress load off my back, and I don't have to deal with it. I kind of thought Evie was pretty cool, and, you know, she... You know, I think we had, like, you know, a mutual respect. What if that happens to the rest of us, though? Yeah, I mean, like, what if we're all tripped in different ways, and I'd want someone to stand by me? It was just a thing that happened. I mean, it's not like we planned it. I mean, I feel ashamed that I didn't have any emotion when she left, but I didn't. I feel like it'd be less draining now that she's gone. So I, I don't even feel bad about it, honestly. I think she was talking about how, like, they knew her weakness, right? Or, like, we knew her weakness. Or, like, she was just a manipulative <laughs> Right? And I'm happy she's gone. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. It works. We are on track. We are down two people. Good job, yes. Good job. I've been taking some naps. Got nothing. Ah, okay, this okay. show is pathetic. Right. Oh, yeah? Let's come up with a challenge that gets somebody off the show. The very basis of the reality show has been taken away. How about the difference between a good show that people watch and a show that people turn away from? Because that's what we've got. 